Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Alright everybody, welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. We are on uh, week 14 of WWE 2K24 My GM mode here. Uh, season 2. Uh, we are having a lot of fun here. We're, we're technically in first place. We're 40,000 fans behind Raw to be the de facto first place. Uh, last week we had a hell of a comeback with a lot of great shows. We had a uh, a new rivalry form with a, well, let's face it, somebody who decided to work for free for us in uh, Trent Shaw. Uh, he took on Gunter, and uh, they started a feud there. And so uh, we tried to push a few other feuds. They just didn't work out, but they gave us some good matches regardless. So, But we got to work ourselves towards the PLE coming up uh, this weekend, or the next week technically on here. For those that are watching on uh, YouTube, we do record these live on Twitch every Wednesday and Saturday after AEW Collision and AEW Dynamite. And for those watching on Twitch, these are going up on our uh, Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel every Wednesday, or sorry, every Tuesday and Friday following the recording of Wednesday and Saturday. So, But I've yapped enough here tonight. Let's get into this booking because... We got a few things to go over here. So, Ava's getting two weeks of rest. JC, the, JC's going to be our main event for the PLE, so not worried about that. Brittany is up at the 15th. She's 19, he's 18, 17, so. And Billy's gone on the 17, too, so. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to see how that tag match works out, but that being said, we got some upgrades to do. Trixie Gambit, level five, let's go. So no holds barred or submission match specialty. Which matches do I have available to me? That's the question I have right now. 30th century homer with the three match watch streak. Th congrats. Thank you. I appreciate you. So we don't have the no holds barred yet. So we're going to, we're not going to get the no holds barred for a while. So let's put Trixie with a submission match specialty here. Just makes sense. We're not, I don't even know how long we're going to have her for. So I'd rather uh, put her at, Put her in something that I could actually use her with, so. But that feud's going to take a little bit of a rest right now because Ava's not going to be used. Let's take a look at the power cards here. Well, let's see if we can book the show more than anything here. Uh, put the... Just try to see what we could do for some good matches here where we don't have like we have some people with some bad uh bad stamina uses here so i would like to get everybody as high as i can on the stamina meter before we go crazy here so cora didn't work well with uh fallon So we might have to, she might have to work with Billy. Or we could do Ivy. Actually, yeah, let's. Let's definitely do that. So what's my condition here? Have your most popular male face and he'll fight each other well that's easy enough but yeah once again we're gonna get that 
There's your opener. Do we do the interference spot to see if we get a level two here out of this? I'd almost want to, just so we don't have to watch the same match again. There we go. Interference with Shaw. a boy. There we go. Zodiac, I like your thinking. You're a smart man. So we'll do this. What, what, what kind of stipulation can we put here? You know what, we'll put an extreme rules for the main here. And then here we can just fit, fit in some matches that'll hopefully put us over here. Save the belt for the PLE. Yeah, I think we'll give we'll give Shaw a run at the title at the PLE, even though that's not a rivalry I want to finish at the this PLE. I want to save it for the next PLE. Uh, because our main event will probably be MVP and Dragonov in a cage. Or else Scar or else we'll do the women's tag in a cage. Probably do the women's tag in a cage. I'm thinking that'd probably be the uh, the more likely scenario. So what we'll do here, I want to get the I want to get the women's champ in here a little bit. So I definitely want to. Ava Moreno's the one on the two week rest right now. So who's my other face I want to put in here? I'll put Brittany in here. Becky Fritz is the tag champs and a triple threat. Here's the thing. I don't want to give Scarlet. I want to give Scarlet the week off if I can help it. Because uh, her stamina is only 37. And a cage match really takes a lot out of you here. And this match really uh, really don't want to do a whole lot with to begin with. So in terms of a heel, the only two that... The only three I have left are JC, Scarlet, and Trixie. And Trixie, I'll be honest, her opponent's out for another two weeks. So if I put her in this one, it isn't going to be the worst thing in the world. And I'll just make it a regular match right now, so it's not anything crazy. If she gets injured, I have power cards to bring her back sooner to finish that rivalry off with Ava. So. And then here, we could do a four-way, because we haven't done one of those in a while. Okay. Let's get Dom involved. Get Clint involved. I really want Baron to get that. Rollins has a stamina of 44. Carmelo's got a stamina of 57. I think we'll do okay with this. Match-wise, I think we're pretty good on this point here right now. Let's load things up, get them ready to go here. We'll... Both Jane and Billy are... Ugh. Do I have anybody on a one? Actually, for call it, I'll just see if I could. Yeah, I'll do it that way. That way, the stamina. I don't have to use JC at all for anything there. So, uh, putting themselves over.
think we could do a charity promo with uh, Rollins here. Yeah, we'll do a charity promo and then we'll do an ad bro. Is there anybody that can put themselves up? Hey, Sean G, how you doing? Hope you're doing well here tonight. Uh, One more for the good guys. Thank you for joining the players pit, Sean. Enjoy the food, enjoy the atmosphere. Watch out for the uh, punch because I think it's been spiked. Uh, you're going all in on Sunday. Congratulations. Really happy for you. I get falling to get herself over here. No, we're we were just watching the show tonight and really looking forward to the card on Sunday, so uh we'll do this. Friday I watch Fozzie play. I've had a chance to watch Fozzie live as well. It it's a fun time. Jericho can sing. Half the time he can't wrestle, but he can sing. I'm going to take this because Lord knows we could use it. Fifth time watching. Oh, nice. All right. Let's see if I can bump anybody. If I get JC up to 15, that could really do, or I could get Seth up to 20. Chat, what do you think here uh, in terms of using this XP get school card? Do I go Jane who could go up to a level 15 and get another class re registration? Or do I go to Rollins who could get a, uh, a second uh, second match stipulation. I'm thinking you go Jane just to get her to 15 and then we can work on Rollins getting him up to 20. But I'd like to see what your guys' input is. Go with Jane here. Yeah. Well, I'm always pushing Jane. Like there is a story behind this with Jane here. Yeah, we'll do this with Gene. So we literally have... And she's a fighter right now. I would like to put her as a specialist so I could put her as anywhere. This is perfect. As you... Yeah, absolutely. Like, watching you guys tonight, like... One comment we've always had about... Um, the miking of of the rings at AEW is they've always had a they've always had a problem miking the sound there properly and I think we're going to do this here too chat just cuz then we can raise Billy up here hey I'm with Zodiac here. Some of the stuff you guys put out in terms of chance. Ooh. Basic injury. Superstar has 10% chance of less of being injured. Yeah, they're going to go with that. No, you guys in the UK are a different breed, and I absolutely love all of it. For the fact that you guys do... S you guys are pretty amazing in everything that uh, the crowds produce there. All right, I think I've done everything I can. I can't use any of my, uh, my screw-around ones because... Cannot be used before a PLE, so this is the week before. Can't use that on anybody right now, so. And this special promotion for retaining fans, I want to save this for the retaliation from, uh, from Pierce after I put him in a small venue tonight. 
And then the network special, I want to save that. We, we get a really good show here. It'll give us an extra 25%. Think we might use that after the PLE here. But I think we got us pretty much set up the way we're going to do it here. Got a mid-card match. Oh, yeah. Are you... Oh, yeah, the WWE PLE that it's going to be insane. And that match between Liv and Liv and Dom versus the Terror Twins, that's going to be absolutely nuts. All right, I think the whole world hates a coward, so. Yeah, let's just get this. Let's do this. All right, so let's we actually get to go first this week, so. This will be fun here. Uh, this one here, to get our bonus card, we had to have our top face and our top heel face each other. So Stax has to take on Gunther. So we got our new guy, Trent Shaw, running in on Gunther, so we can't actually watch the match. One, two, that's it. Bring it. Stax beats the champ ah. in a three-star match of the rivalry. Good through and Shaw's growing. Oh my, here we go. All right, Rollins. Extra 6,700 fans. I love it. All right, so our first match we're going to get to watch here. Uh, Trixie Gambit. A little bit on the shaky side here in terms of health. But then we have Battleship Brittany, who has just been a beast for us. And then the champ, Becky Lynch. Hasn't been in action in a while, and I want to get her in here and maybe we'll get a few going here somewhere. Let's go check things out. So yeah, we spectate our three matches here as we go along, so. But I'm better than you. Whoa. And you know it. Sour Goat Face, 1985. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Players Elite Club. Making her way to the ring from wherever she wants. Trixie Gambit. I guess I could have pinned the uh, dynamite message because we're already here, so. No, thank you for uh, popping in here. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the prime sub. Always appreciate our subs coming in here, and uh, I, I just appreciate everybody being here. This is going to be a lot of... This is a lot of fun with you guys around. You'll be sitting near the action tramp it all in. I wonder what the setup's going to look like, because if you guys didn't know, we've been talking about this on the uh, sidecast. If you guys are coming in late, we do a sidecast of AEW Wrestling every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, last year's was a little different because Taylor Swift is playing there right now. And one of the contingencies of Tony Khan getting all in there this year is they weren't allowed to take down the setup for, for Taylor Swift. So basically they're building in front of it. That's why the crowd's gone down from 80,000 down to 50 for this show. Not that I think they were going to get much more than that anyway this year. It is the, the second factor here as we go along. I'm waiting for the... Uh, waiting for the introduction, but obviously we're not getting one. Oh, there it is. So Becky's pretty much made the run the entire time here so far. Uh, eventually, the last two P PLEs, I want to set up having uh, Becky take it on Scarlet and then Becky take it on JC Jane as uh, our, our final feud as we get to the main WrestleMania here. But uh, 
No, the one thing I've been wishing for, and the one thing I really hope happens, just for the marketing purposes, gonna start a chat of whose house. It, it's gonna be weird, like Swerve, Swerve's got his following, right? I'll get back to my thought here in a second, but Swerve's got his fa Swerve's got his fans, but realistically, he is the heel in this matchup. And Danielson is the face. He's a heel that everyone loves, yeah. But here's the other story that we're thinking of here. You got that casino gauntlet uh, before the... Before the main, right? Hangman Page comes out. He said he's part of it now. If he wins it, he'll tell Tony Khan he wants to, wants to be part of the main event tonight. So it's going to end up being a three-way. And then you have Hangman get pinned by... by Danielson. So Danielson to get the title and they're both screwed. So then they're going to have to end their feud somehow between Swerve and Hangman in Chicago in two weeks. And right now, Sean Ross Sapp is hearing that that's the, uh, that's the rumor match for, uh, for All Out is Hangman and Swerve. Of course, they can't announce anything until the All In's done, right? So... But what I was mentioning in my thought there uh, earlier, if there's some way to do it, T-Swift is running, uh, running Wembley the time that they're there. And T-Swift used to babysit Jeff Jarrett's kids. If they could get a box for T-Swift for the show and have her sit in the crowd, even if it's for a match, the social media buzz for having Taylor Swift at an AEW show? Well, you see what's happened to the NFL with uh, Travis Kelsey the, and the Chiefs, right? Trixie's doing everything she can right now to... should come to the ring and slap the CEO. See, if I'm going to do my ultimate booking, it's not going to be Taylor Swift to do that. Although that would be a hell of a moment. I see somebody in the ring right now that we're watching. I believe her name is Rebecca Knox. If you had her show up at All In... That would... How do I put this politely? I, I think Twitter would... Or X, whatever you want to call it. Exitter. According to Zodiac. Uh, you would see it melt. It would... It would melt. Like... I'm expecting a few surprises to show up. Like, I think the most obvious one of the bunch is going to be Michael Oku showing up in the Gauntlet Battle Royal. Or the Gauntlet match, sorry. I would like to see Grado as part of it. I honestly feel the one wild card you're going to see is Bobby Lashley. I don't want to expect too, too much, but I do expect a few to show up. But here's a question for each. I really want to see Kenny back. All of us do. Like, I'm based out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, which is about a 12-hour drive away from Winnipeg. So we grew up in the Kenny Omega area, right? Like, 
Like hell, I live three hours north of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Famous of Lance Storm. And uh, he, uh... Kenny's such a good dude. I know that he's got a lot of, like, when it comes to interacting, social anxiety is might be part of it. But... But Kenny just really is an all round great dude, and I'm a Street Fighter 2 Street Fighter fan in general, as you can see by my uh, Jury X uh, Tony Storm shirt here. I almost have the complete collection of the uh, Street Fighter AEW crossovers. I think I missed one of the bunch, but but oh, Kenny, Kenny's such a great dude, and just try just tries to be a great great guy, right? Becky, Bobby and Becky turn up at all in, it'll be crazy. The other one I'm thinking of, maybe, I don't think you bring MVP in. I think MVP is uh, gonna go to Bloodsport first. I think that's where they're gonna, they advertise his first match there. Because a lot of people don't realize MVP is younger than Bobby Lashley. It's just that MVP started so young. The last ride. She didn't even get a one count because of breakup. Booby don't age? No. Well, no, it's like most of those people. Like MVP started very young. That's the thing. Yeah, well, if that spell check, uh, Sean, I'm wondering why Bob, uh, Bobby gets corrected to booby. Uh, I will just call a gold point and leave it at that. <laughs> or better yet, I'll, I'll throw that one there for it. Gotta love Brittany to flexing on the outside. No, I can't. I can't wait for this weekend. We're actually doing a. I'm doing a five person watch along here. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, uh. I'm a variety streamer. I'm a former pro wrestling referee. Or, sorry, a former sports referee and a pro wrestling commentator. So I do have a little bit more experience. I'm not going to say a lot, but at least I got a little bit more experience than a lot of people when it comes to dealing with professional wrestling. Hey, no worries. You know what? I, I, I'll i be honest. I'm one of those guys that never likes to be on his phone when I'm at a show like that. I'm horrible for not getting pictures when I'm there. But yeah, no, uh, we're here every Wednesday and Saturday for uh, AEW watch alongs here, so. Trixie's gonna steal this? Oh, Becky gets out the lot. Oh. <laughs> Robinson just ate it right there. Told everyone it's an awesome time to be around. Yeah, the biggest thing I've said about this right now. If you're a wrestling fan and you can't find something that you enjoy in wrestling right now, that's a you problem. That's not a wrestling problem. Oh, I thought Becky was gonna steal the three there. Come on, Brittany, set. You gotta get back into this. Basically, if one of these two beat uh, Becky, I'm going to have to set up a title match with him. 
Been a wrestling fan since the attitude. I, my first match I ever got to see, like as it happened, was WrestleMania 3 on a scrambled signal. Hogan and Andre from the, from the uh, Pontiac Silverdome. I love how everybody's impervious to steal chair shots when they're in another hold. Really want DMD to win? That is going to be one of the biggest toss-ups we have right now. I honestly feel that the smart money is on Monet. just because of the social media status, but also the fact that Brit's been put into a uh, new movie as well, or a new TV series. So you really could go either way, right? Like the TBS title is now more of a glamour title. While the AEW women's title is more of the pure hardcore wrestling title. Is Trixie gonna win this? Trixie's gonna steal this! Trixie defies the odds and gets the victory here. Here is your winner, Trixie. She's probably gonna be injured, but she's gotta get a title shot now. Trixie versus Becky, absolutely. Let's get this feud. Perfect. Got to, yeah, I'll give her a few weeks. Well, she gets next week off because Ava's off, right? Because that's the feud I have to finish. So if I can pick up a spa card next week, I will use it on her to build her up. But this works out perfectly because the first match is three stars. This is two and a half. Good. They finally got that, that rivalry moved up. Perfect. They're going to have a tag team feud to end up that rivalry. I really hope Chris brings the FT. He usually doesn't. He, he honestly usually doesn't uh, bring the titles around. Keep It's too easy to... Especially after he lost the world title after uh, winning it back when he originally won it there in 2019, 2020. Yeah, 2019, sorry. All right, this match here, McDougal and Mysterio are in a feud. Baron, I tried to get him in with Seth. But Baron just would not get a rivalry with Seth. And then Melo, he's still bitter because he lost uh, to Gunther, so... Thought, why not throw these four in here? Just a regular fatal four way. And let's see how things go. Like, realistically, I only have to break up two feuds at the PLE. So, fun fact for you guys Dominic Mysterio did all his training to get ready for wrestling in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. He was a personal pupil of Lance Storm. He would uh, hang out backstage at uh, Yeah, absolutely. Dom is a fantastic heel. He uh, he got his training done with Lance Storm, but he actually hung out with one of our local promotions here called Real Canadian Wrestling. Would never work out front, but like he would learn to set up the ring, work with the guys, chat a little bit. 
because it legit his first real in front of crowd match which really wasn't in front of a crowd was Dom versus Seth now I can think of a lot worse people to have your first match against all right this is taking way too long Sorry, when we're dealing with a non-main event, I like to, you know, speed things up a little bit. I see Baron's getting over just as well as he always does. So we did get the actual bigger arena. We just haven't been able to get anything bigger in terms of effects or anything like that. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. I love that lady in the crowd. How am I doing? I'm doing good. We're having a great time here and once again uh if you didn't know i am a variety streamer here like i'm just uh we're getting a new overlay done up here we're gonna be debuting it on sunday here for the uh aw all in sidecast uh tomorrow we're gonna be here doing a little tears of the kingdom during the day you're probably gonna be sleeping because i'm assuming if you're going to all in you're it's pretty much the afternoon for you right now. Can't remember what the timing is, what's going on right now, so. And from Staten Island, New York, weighing in at oh, it's morning for you right now, okay. So this red to cop is the uh, tag team with uh, with uh, Stax Lorenzo as our tag champs. Yeah, for me here right now, it is 8.58 p.m. Uh, on Wednesday here. So I know you're well ahead of me here, but thank you for being up early and checking things out here with me here. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be on approximately... Let's see now. Three plus 11. It's 14. Probably about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, your time here. Somewhere between 1 and 2. Uh, we're going to be hanging out, doing a little Tears of the Kingdom. I basically finished all the main objectives. Now we just have to go after Ganon. As a rule, I don't like to over talk, uh, over talk on the stream, right? So, or over talk the announcers. It's sort of a rule I have on commentary too. So, well, yeah, we'll be doing tears of the we're in, right now. Currently, we're in tears of the kingdom. Uh, we'll probably do a little bit of street. Uh, there's some uh, September bonuses coming up here. so excited for all it yeah like i i can't wait the biggest thing for me is i also get five days off because of it so because i always take the day off after the ple for or the ppv sorry because usually it's on, on till 11 and this week it's we're we're gonna be done our time by three o'clock so I'm just laughing for Sunday, so. All right, Fatal 4 Ways do take a little longer. I should have maybe made this a tables match, but I did want to give it the extra boost. So, Sean, which match are you looking forward to the most? Yeah. 
For me personally, I'm looking forward to like, like I'm looking forward to a lot of them. But for me, the big story for me is the Tony Storm Mariah May story. Which literally has been going since all in last year. I was going to say, Clint, that's a little early for a pin. It's hard to choose. Yeah, and that's what I love about AEW. There are so many feuds you can pick from. And even tonight, like, let's face it, Claudio and Okada, I'm actually glad it went to a time limit draw because we're going to get it again. But that could have easily, easily made have ended a pay-per-view somewhere. But for me personally, one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to coming up on Sunday At all out, maybe, maybe. We'll see. They also did announce today on. Uh, oh, they did announce on Dynamite that on Saturday, it's going to be Top Flight Leo Rush versus Yuta Casanoli and Pac. A uh, winner gets the fourth spot in the twelve way twelve way ladder match. Now I. Didn't check the spoilers. I don't want to know. I'm hoping that it's Pac, uh, Claudio, and Wheeler. More, the, more for the fact that I'd like to see Pac actually get an entrance in uh, Wembley. Because he deserves one. And this is why four ways take forever. it up by the way zodiac you were asking i did manage to turn the blood on so it's so minimal that i don't think many people are going to be able to see it and i don't think we're going to get to monetize over it blue time yeah pack was injured before last year's all in yeah so he didn't get an opportunity and after uh the whole mjf uh will osprey debacle i didn't think we were gonna get we were gonna get the opportunity to get Pac his webly entrance because it's set up perfectly to do Pac versus Pac versus osprey at wembley you tell me that match wouldn't go like crazy if we end up with it in chicago it's fine Will versus MJF, that's going to be 2006 John Cena versus Rob Van Dam levels of insanity. I really do hope MJF comes out in like uh, the Rocky gear. Like, to me, that would be hilarious and very apropos for him. Sort of like a version of what he was wearing tonight. But just in a robe version. Even with a Burberry scarf, too. Corbin's just ticked. And the day is coming up. Oh, deep six. Even if I could get Mellow and Baron into a feud, I wouldn't mind.
These matches get way too chaotic and the oh McDougal's bleeding now. Into the spy buster. Seems like a waste of color with that hat. Agreed. Then you got McDougal out there throwing her karatas out like nothing. Double lung blower. Chair shot to the head. Go for the pin, Clint. If you're smart. Oh, never mind. He's set up for a finisher here. Oh, he's going for the lapel lock. Oh, uh, Baron just gets in to break it up. Oh, there we go. End the days. What the hell? Why wouldn't you pin the man that... All right, AI. That was interesting. Gets out the last second. And the days is really such a cool finisher. I, I love it. And the fact that there's been so few people that have kicked out of it, it's actually a really fun. I honestly feel that, uh, Taz is going to get involved in that match, Sean. Just to put the Taz mission on. On Jericho. Just for a second. Just long enough for Hook to get the red rub on. And then that'll be over then. Oh my god, oh. McDougal fired up right now. Pinfall, everybody's dead. And Carmelo Hayes is your winner. What a match. Watch you get two stars. Little bit of insanity there with a few too many chair shots, if you ask me. Mello don't miss. No, he don't. I'd like to get Mello lined up for a title shot, too. Two and a half. Mysterio McDougal. Good. I got that rivalry moved up. Just what I wanted to do there. Perfect. Fallon putting herself over. Okay, get an extra one. That's fine. Now, our main event. Cora's pissed because she can't go for the title because she lost to Becky. And Ivy is... Ivy's a willing victim. They match up. We're going to put an Extreme Rules stipulation on so, you know, these, these ladies can tear the house down. If Ivy wins, maybe she gets inserted into the match. With uh, Trixie and Becky, maybe. As we go forward here, we'll, we'll see. Let's let's get this going here and see how it goes. Do I think Tony wins it all in? No. Um, if you take a look at this story that they're writing right now, based on this movie, I, I haven't watched the movie, but I got the bullet points. Realistically, Tony has to win this, or sorry, 
Mariah wins this one and Tony changes back and gets her revenge at the end. Like this is a great point to have. Oh, sorry. This is a great point to have a very big crescendo, but you don't have to have your final act here. I think Mariah wins here and basically Tony has to pick up the pieces, put everything back together. And then we're back to uh, we got everything put together in a nice one tiny little package. Uh, maybe at Wrestle Dream, maybe at World's End. It could be Tony Storm's end, right? So Tony's doing an amazing job. Representing the Cree Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee. Ivy Nile. Like to Tony's done about an amazing job with her character. Mariah's done a great job. We're going to get Mina Shirakawa involved in this match somehow. And I honestly feel that Mina might be the difference that helps out. Uh, I think Mina's going to help out Mariah here. Sorry about this chat, just had a... Uh. I love us UK wrestling fan. You know what? I... I love the passion that the European wrestling fans have, especially in the UK. Just a bit. It, it's such a different vibe than what it is over here. And we were actually talking about it during the sidecast today. That uh, it almost feels like UK fans enjoy the show a lot more the US fans analyze the show a lot more. I know that it, I know especially here in Alberta, we are a lot more about checking out all the details and got a picture of you and Eugene. Yeah, I got a one with, uh, I got a bunch of them up here actually, but. Nikita Kolov is one of the great ones. Mickey James I got a picture with. Yeah, Eugene is an absolutely great guy. He just got saddled with a bad gimmick. Side of pitch for yeah. Um, the last guy I actually saw was a top talent show here at Edmonton. We had uh, Donovan Dijak here recently from the WWE, and last week he was at Rev Pro. 
Saw Scotty too, cool. And yes, I just... <laughs> I don't know where that one came from, but it just came out too. That was just way too easy. I don't know where that, that one just rolled off the end. I mean, it's only a one count here. Well, we are definitely building up some stars here. I'm really happy about this. Wow! And Ivy no sells it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with Cora to be honest with you. She she had a huge feud with uh, Becky. They just finished it off just over just three weeks ago at the last BLE, and now. Now she wins another one. Hopefully this starts a rivalry here, but. Here is your winner, Cora Jade. If we can start a rivalry here, we can start Billy. Time to fire a tag partner. I tried to. Think we, that, that might make the most sense. All right, we survived the week. We had two two and a halves and two threes. Not the optimum thing that you want for a P for a pre-show PLE, but we still got our good booking. Oh, and there's the rivalry. Like all good tag teams. <laughs> uh, all right. So now we get to check out what everybody else has been doing here. So let's get to her. So for Raw, their opener is Strowman, Uso, and Jim the Anvil Neidhart. That is a beer competition if I ever seen one. In a tables match, no less. This should be Strowman, but Neidhart pulls it out. Uso and Strowman, okay. The U.S. champ calls out our truth growing that rivalry. The Raw World Heavyweight Champion taking on Kit Wilson in your mid card. Non-title match. One, two, Otis wins in a three-star match. Okay. Champ wins. Makes sense. Baszler getting 52-50 here. The level four feud, a tables match between Undertaker and Randy Savage and Shinsuke Nakamura making a run in. Savage wins because of the run in. That's already a level four feud, so it wasn't going to go anywhere. Wow, pretty good promo there from Carmella. Now, our main event for a, the t this rivalry has been going forever here. Molly Holly, the double champ, teaming up with Bailey, taking on Natalia Meachin. Champs retain once again. <laughs> Bailey's gone a month. <laughs> <laughs> See, Stinger prior to a PLE. That's why you don't put anybody important in a spot where they could lose for a few weeks. That's got to suck. Everybody else is losing their champs left, right, and center. This is hilarious. Alexa Bliss taking out China, their opener in WCW. Alexa with a hundred popularity too. <laughs> Let's throw it up again. Two weeks. Sorry, champ. We can't have you at the PLE. <laughs> oh, this is turning out to be the best right now. Tim Burr putting himself over just a little bit. 
Most popular star out for the PLE, yeah. Good thing I didn't play that veto card. If I played that, there's a veto card that you could take the most popular person on your roster and and bench him. If I would have used that, she wouldn't have got injured there. Which, yes, good sportsmanship says you help that, but... Mm. Almost and Elton Prince taking on Dewey Carter and Andre Chase. Omos and Elton in a two and a half star match. Okay. The jobbers calling each other out. An embarrassing promo, but got it to level two. It got the job done. Doesn't matter how bad it was. Finn Balor and Drew McIntyre are two singles champs taking on Big E and Adrian Buck in a tag team. One, two, ring that bell. Balor and McIntyre in a three-star match, okay. Jay Pierce trying to put himself over still doesn't do that much. In our main event, normal match. Our cha our blonde blonde champ champ, Tiffany Stratton over in WCW, taking on Gigi Dolan. Man, a three Gigi in a three and a half star match. They better get her in a title feud here pretty quick because you know Alexa's out for a bit so the tag champs are done all right let's see what he, let's see what ECW's got Julius Creed taking on the Miz be a fun little opener Julius in a three and a half star match rivalry grows good on him Kurt Angle he knows how to put himself over. Indy Hartwell versus Valhalla. This one could be a good one. Indy wins. Two star. All right. Jody Garcia tried to. Yeah. These two have been trying to put each other over for a while. It just hasn't worked. Neon Bright Star taking on Piper Niven. What do you think of the wide six? They've had a couple good matches. I'm not into the supernatural gimmick or the spooky gimmick. I appreciate what they're doing to pay tribute to, to Bray. I'm saving judgment until I actually see what they're doing in the, doing the ring. Cause we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. They got to get away from the creeds eventually. Vicky McLeod barely gets herself over. And our main event for the world te television title, Logan Paul, who better not win that title. Take it on Josh Briggs. Take it on the Boogeyman, who just won the title last week. Come on, Boogeyman. I want chaos. No, Briggs wins the title in a four-star match. All right, so ECW did okay. All right, now the important part. Let's see the report cards. Good booking, so I got a level two, got a level three, I got a level three, I got a level one. So I actually did pretty good there. Oh, I want to check saying here. Uh, match report. Trixie only used up three stamina for that match, so I did really well there to keep her the way where she was. Phew, is the best way to put that. All right, smack raw. Amazing booking, of course, because they had two four-star matches. A level three, a level two, a level two, a level four, but Bailey's out a month. <laughs> Should never wish that on people, but no feud, Bliss out two weeks. Level two. Level two, so at least they have a singles title uh, push there. And then here they got a level three, level four, and a level two. All right, so everybody's doing somewhat okay. Let's see what the final scores are, though. 106. We got 40,000 more fans. We're up to 362,000. Yes! The big venue is helping. 
the big venue is helping. We're getting our budget up. We're going to be able to get some of our bonuses. We're going to be able to sign some more interesting stars coming out. No extra notes here. 362,000. And 3451. Let's see what Raw's got. So 120. They got 54,000 fans. How the hell did they do that? How in the hell did they get that many more fans? I did handicap their budget, though, for the small venue, right? So for the PLE, they're a little bit up in trouble here. Shinsuke Nakamura came on the flat. So 3509, 219. So they're going to be about 60,000 ahead of us here. 111. They gained 40, so they're about on par with us. And 238, okay, so. No new bonuses or anything. And then 113, they got 40, okay, so ECW bounced ahead of us here. All right, so we got the bad timing, so I can, trust me, that last season, we are gonna be dumping, dumping cards on everybody. All right, so let's take a look here how we're doing. Three, four, fifty. Oh, we're still actually... The Hall of Fame trophies put us in first. Like we've said, it's the Hall of Fame trophies first. Uh, second is fans. Once Adam Pierce finally gets his third trophy, we're going to be in second. Uh, we're about 50,000 fans in behind, which... I'll be honest, I'd rather sit in second place going into the uh, dispersal draft after season two. Just because you get to keep an extra person on top of the three that you generally get. But then Heyman is 25 behind us. And Bischoff, well... Bischoff. You idiot. I will leave it at that. But as per tradition, before we head out here today, we can't save on this screen. So we are going to uh, advance to the next week and see where we're at. As we get ready for our PLE coming up this Saturday, uh, being recorded here for WWE Fastlane. Fastlane, week 15. Brittany. My contract with SmackDown's up this week. Can't say I've been loving it, but I'm prepared to stay. I never. Sixty K for Brittany. No, I, I, that yeah, that's no. Even forty two is too much yeah we can find somebody else I love you Brittany you were great to us in season one but I I'm I can't take you for that much we're definitely putting you in a match we'll we'll use you but that loser shot attacked me during the fight last night I'm not going to stand for garbage like this. I want to sell things in the ring with them in the next three weeks. Considering I want to do that this week, I will see to it. You mess with Gunter, you paid the price. All right, Cora, what do you got to say? Hmm. <sighs> Feels good to be the best, wouldn't you agree? I feel like SmackDown is the best brand around. And me, I'm the best superstar around. I'm not sure what I'm expecting out of this, but I'll let you know it. I'm pretty important on SmackDown, aren't I? The, the fans can see that, can you? Now, what she's trying to do 
is trying to milk us for another 50 grand. Cora's been winning nonstop here. The only person she can't beat is Becky. Do I give her 50 grand? Is she worth it? I almost feel that like nobody's worth an extra 50 grand here. But Cora's been winning nonstop, so this could be a little... This one's tough for me here, because... Her popularity's up to 70, her, st her stamina's at 80, she's... She could be the one of those I carry way th through the season. Because if I say no, she'll get bitchy and she'll be, her morale will be down way too far. Uh, this feud with Ivy better be worth it. Save money can't solve any problem, but it definitely helps. Thank you, Ted. This means a lot. I'm glad I'm valued. All right. Oh, we got another bonus. Who's getting the upgrade now? Clint. Clint is getting the upgrade. So we'll, we'll discuss that next week here. And of course, we this one I'm just going to do right now before I forget. So we are going to do the fast slate PLE. Which Triple H thing? Schedule a run-in on your most popular available star this week. Who's getting a run-in? Huh. What's he going to give us? That's the question. Oh, zero Scotty points? Ah, I could care less. All right, so... <laughs> call the Wambulance. That's a nice power card. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for here. We got uh, we got a five-match PLE to book uh, coming up this Saturday as we're recording live here. Uh, we are... Uh, uh, for those watching on the old YouTube channel, uh, this will be up. Uh, this one will be up Friday. The PLE will be up on Tuesday. Uh, for those on Twitch here, hang around. We're going to raid out here in just a moment. But uh, for those on YouTube, thank you for stopping by here. If you uh, enjoyed what you've seen here, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and tell us uh, what your favorite match is or what match you want to see. Now that uh, we're getting a little bit into the craziness that is uh, WWE Fastlane here. But um, once again, thank you everybody for stopping by here. We do record these on Twitch on Wednesday and Saturday. Twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. After every AW Dynamite and every AEW Collision. But with that being said, once again, everybody remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody. <laughs>